Hey, it's Mike here, and today, a meat tax. In particular, I wanna briefly present my case for why I think we should tax processed meat at the very least and use that money to subsidize fruits and vegetables. It's a bit like Robin Hood for vegetables. Rob from the meat industry, give to the poor, and this really is an inequality issue as well. And this isn't a new idea. A lot of countries have talked about doing a meat tax, and it's definitely not a new principle. We have taxes on cigarettes, and from the American Lung Association, quote, Revenue from state and local tobacco tax increases can and should be used to fund state tobacco control programs. So why not take the money from harmful things and use it for good things? All right, here is a fact sheet, a sort of infographic that I made as a part of my master's in public health program. Very simple and to the first point, use extra tax revenue from processed meats to make fruits and vegetables more affordable. Simple, and again, this is an equality issue in particular because as the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics found, low-income Americans would have to spend up to 70% of their food budgets on fruits and vegetables to meet the dietary guidelines. We need to make fruits and vegetables cheaper and definitely don't mistake this for veganism or eating more plant-based being more expensive. No matter what your diet is, these recommendations for fruits and vegetables are the same. And in addition, a vegan diet is replacing those expensive meats and cheeses with things like legumes, nuts, and seeds. And we've seen that a vegetarian diet can save $750 a year and even this family saved enough money on a vegan diet to go to Greece, so. There you go. The main point though, people in poverty can't afford as many vegetables and fruits as they need to eat. So we need to change that. We need to make them cheaper. All right, next point. You already know that the WHO, the World Health Organization has declared processed meats as a class 1A carcinogen. They cause colorectal cancer. And yes, red meat is a class 2A carcinogen, but to keep it simple, we're just gonna talk about processed meats here. And processed meats includes a lot of meats. It's more than just hot dogs and bacon. Next point, in terms of the US, colorectal cancer is expected to kill 50,000 people people this year and back in 2010 cost us 14 billion dollars. An extra piece of info is the second most deadly cancer in the US and I haven't even started talking about heart disease yet. The next point is super obvious, fruits and vegetables decrease mortality and here's the study to back that up, boom by weighing. So you'd get a win-win, less mortality from the processed meats and less mortality from the protective effect of vegetables and probably an increase in quality of life as well. Okay, next one. We actually have had studies analyzing a meat tax. This one proposed a 100% tax on processed meat. So that means it would just double the price. Using that figure and a honestly really low estimate for the revenue from processed meats, that would be about one and a half billion dollars a year, but it would likely be much higher because the revenue from the meat industry is closer to $200 billion. So even if just like a quarter of that is processed meats, we're looking at, you know, $50 billion a year. That's a crap ton of green that we could use for greens. Yes, I'm that lame. That's why you're watching. Let's keep going. Now let's look back at this 2018 study. It projected a 9% reduction in meat related deaths if there was such a meat tax. So yes, lives would be saved. And even more dramatically from another study, if we could just get a national 10% subsidy for fruits and vegetables, then we could be looking at saving 150,000 lives from cardiovascular disease alone. And imagine if we could bring that up to like a 50% subsidy, it would be amazing. It would be, it would be a utopia of vegetables. And zooming out, this really isn't a crazy concept. It's no different than say taxing gas to keep roads safe or what we already do with taxing cigarettes to hopefully prevent some lung cancer. And in the end, legislation like this can save human lives, it can save animal lives, prevent diseases, increase quality of life, and so on. And so definitely feel free to share that infographic. I have links below where you can download a JPEG. And you're welcome to send that directly to your representative. Share it anywhere. It has all of the references on the bottom of it. And share this video too if you want. And feel free to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Eat your vegetables and fruit. And I'll see you in the next video.